Well, hey there, it's Jeff coming to you again from Seattle. Let's talk about AWS Lambda this week, and we're going to focus on PowerShell. You can now build AWS Lambda functions using PowerShell Core and the .NET Core runtime. You can make use of existing PowerShell commandlets, and you can also build your own scripts. You can download the AWS Lambda tools for PowerShell from the PowerShell gallery. Inside there, you'll find project templates for serverless applications, along with some tools for publishing to AWS. This support is available in all regions where Lambda is available. So just remember, PowerShell, 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 PowerShell. In container news, got a great update for AWS Fargate for you. You can now authenticate your container images from any private registry. To do this, you simply store your private registry credentials in AWS Secrets Manager. After you've done that, you take the ARN or the secret name of those credentials, and you hand those off to Fargate as a container level parameter when you register your task definition. This gives you more flexibility and more control when you make use of AWS Fargate. Thanks for watching this week. We just checked our calendars and realized we've got just 75 days until reInvent. Sure hope to meet you in person when you're there. In the meantime, please feel free to drop me an email, follow me on Twitter. I'd love to hear from you. Your ideas, your suggestions, your feedback are all welcome. Thanks once again for watching and we'll see you next week.